Hello, and you join me on today's cryptocurrency technical analysis during this strong move down for Bitcoin, dumping from 9,900 down to 9,500 in a matter of minutes. So this is a pretty substantial move to the downside, which is continuing at this point. Uh, so let me go through the charts here on Bitcoin, and I will cover a few alts as well, uh, which have seen extremely nice moves today. Uh, but yeah, Bitcoin first, obviously not looking good here on the short term after that pretty bearish engulfing candle that we've just seen on higher time frames. Look at that. Very reminiscent of yesterday's move up followed by a bearish engulfing. Okay, move up followed by a bearish engulfing sell off. Um, so yeah, trend following on. And what I loved about this is actually on the this is on coming down to a lower term time frame. Nine thousand nine hundred direct support resistance flip. Okay, so old support here flipped into resistance. Strong move down, just like you saw prior. Okay, move up support flush to the downside okay move up old support flush to the downside okay so today i was actually playing as a contrarian i love playing a contrarian and this is not for for newer traders let just let that be aware but um you know i loved it i woke up this morning we were sat here at 9500 okay and there was extreme panic and um fear in the market and that's what i love for day trading you have to remember i'm a day trader not not uh you know that's my main focus, okay? So when I wake up and see all the fear, uh, that for me is a good opportunity to long. So I was playing this long today, obviously moving up to stops. Uh, so I've been stopped out of this long on that move down. But nevertheless, it was still a good day on longs. Um, and what I loved about this is obviously it was just above the 786 and our old parallel okay see so the old parallel channel that you've got going on here of resistance 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 support came back into play so you can see here well the old resistance of the parallel channel old resistance okay move down yesterday for support move up flush to the downside here we flush the downside onto the old support region okay onto this old support region again for another move up up to the old support, flushed it on our own side. <laughs> so like fractals here happening on pretty heavily on Bitcoin. Um, but yeah, that's my what was my main reason for taking that long. Firstly, the BitMEX long, BitMEX started to pay longs. Okay, so I listed this here. Um, I'll let you all see. So today, this was obviously right in the morning. Okay, uh, was long because I still viewed this as a potential way too. BitMEX funding about to change. Extreme fear in the market. Quite a low long, uh, quite a low risk trade for me to play that long, and that obviously traded very nicely up to that level. Bam. Um, so yeah, that was my reasoning for playing this long today. But now I would say, yeah, we've, we've lost that support. And obviously we still have this 786 very, very slightly. Okay, very slightly uh, holding on to the th thread here. Uh, 9,500. The low of this move was 9,489. 9, so this is a real critical support. If you lose this, I'm looking down for lower levels, if I'm honest. Okay, then we're looking down to monthly 9250, 827773. So obviously these are quite extremes. Um, but nevertheless, one has to be aware of, of the levels if it happens. Okay. So we are obviously, yeah, pretty obviously you can see here bearish engulfing candles. They're not what you want to see. <laughs> um, so I mean, in the grand scheme of things, this is a healthy retracement. There's no new real need to panic uh you know not know what's going on caught a deer in the headlights you know they're saying there's no need to uh, have be fearing this as such because in the grand scheme of things you obviously are just retracing in an uptrend that's normal okay um but yeah there's obviously definitely uh, opportunities of shorting these bounces you know each bounce has been a, a a short opportunity of you know you can see here just like here again you know old support flipped okay old support flipped OK, old support flipped. <laughs> so you can see it happening. Move down, back test, down, back test, down, back test. OK, so, you know, just be aware of what's happening. It's not too difficult to trade that. Um, what I would like to see now personally is, you know, really this 786 hold and, you know, in the coming in the coming hours, you're going to be fairly easy to see this. Uh, do we actually reclaim 9.6? This is obviously now a resistance. Can bulls end with a long lower wick and actually reclaim that? Okay, that would be very nice. And um, is it the most likely? I would say probably not with the way that this has been going, but there's still that opportunity. I would love that to reclaim 9.6. Well, let's just say 9.7. That's kind of your real flip now that you're looking at around this sort of region, isn't it? So um, that's the key level for me. So 9,900, 9, really big uh, resistance. But if we can get back up there, possible. 9,9, nine, okay, 10,3, 9,6, 9, okay, that region of resistance. And for me, I'm just be, we'll be looking at 9,450 uh, for a support level, okay? You lose that, and I, yeah, I will be looking down to these lower monthly slash lower levels to come, okay? 
so we are in a uh, yeah that that position right now and all i would say is is look at a correlation okay the correlation between litecoin and bitcoin i've went through the statistics and they are they are really strongly correlated so you have to look at litecoin obviously we're seeing a a, a big rejection from this hourly level up here uh, but nevertheless, Litecoin has had a very strong 10% move, okay, over the last few days. A real, real strong move. What I liked about this is the re reclaim the daily, reclaim the trend line, move up, okay, through the weekly, which you've now lost potentially, um, you know, straight onto the old resistance region. Okay, so that is a, uh, you know, clear clear resistance level that you are getting rejected from. But with Litecoin showing such strength, it can, if it can flip some of these levels, uh, that could be potentially a good sign for Bitcoin because they have had that strong correlation. If, if Litecoin can show some strength here and not get a total rejection <laughs> like Bitcoin has, then that could be a possible heads up for good things to come for Bitcoin. Just to be aware, you know, it's just a sign to be aware of. But obviously, it's not going too well <laughs> as we are speaking. OK, another one, another major is obviously EOS. OK, so EOS has also shown, shown signs of strength from the old bottom of the parallel. Again, moving up to this hourly level, we have got first resistance, the first hourly, second hourly. You are now getting rejected on that. So you can see the, these hourly levels are getting rejected now on, on EOS, getting rejected on Bitcoin, getting rejected on Litecoin. Uh, my other favorite trade of the day, I would have to say, is Atom, okay, from the mon Monday Open. That's, again, a <laughs> pretty big rejection now at this point. Uh, but nevertheless, this was a really nice trade. All around 10% trades, my, my trades from today. Really good. Uh, but it's, again, this Monday Monday flip, okay, flipped it, move up very, very strongly. But, again, they're all getting rejected at the moment, these alts. So you do have to be aware. Again, Phantom, really sort of similar situation. Nice, decent trades in here. But, um, you know. That's what I'd be aware of. Bitcoin not looking too good. So I'll just end with the final words. You now are looking back up at 9.6 as resistance uh, support 9.450 down to 9.2. You lose 9.450. And um, yeah, I would very much uh, say that this is, is a continuation to the downside correction still, uh, still in play. Very strong correction. Um, but yeah, that's what I'd be reviewing over the next, say, 24 hours. If, if we can reclaim 9.6, okay, and get back in within the channel, okay, there's obviously a, you know, bulls are trying to hold this up. You know, it's, it is holding a little, obviously a very big move to the downside, but there is a, a, a potential of uh, the 786 holding. So we cannot speak in absolutes. Um, you know, it is holding as we're speaking right now. So let's see if there's a close below this. If there is, that's, that's not good. <laughs> um, well, depending if you're long or short, I guess it's, it's good if you're in some shorts. Okay. Uh, but if you're only long, then it's not good. Um, and that's why you should be really viewing these SR flips, because as I've shown, it's just happened again and again and, and again here. So, you know, nothing too surprising. Um, so, yeah, hope that you have thoroughly enjoyed this video. And, uh, yeah, keep your eye on those key levels. Um, I, I wanted to go through this tweet because this it received a lot of really warm comments. Um, so, yeah, just, you know. This is use this as some inspiration. Use this as some inspiration. You have to remember that this is now like my me my um sort of just you know I don't class it as a job because I love this. I love trading so much. Uh, for me it's more like a hobby. But you know I'm just a normal regular guy that just found a passion for trading. Absolutely loved it and just worked my socks off every single day studying and just going through this process. Um, so yeah, if you feel like you're losing trades, just know, you know. If I can do it, you can do it. You know, there's no difference between us. We're all the same. And, uh, you know, you just need to put in that time and effort. And, uh, you know, you too can make this a reality. Um, so, yeah, pause the screen if you want and read through this. Hopefully it will give you a little bit of inspiration. Um, because, yeah, it, it's definitely, definitely, definitely doable. And, uh Oh, yeah, this is what my alts were from today. So this was posted at this morning. OK, so this was this morning before they all took off and these all done 10% since here. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, those alts were pretty decent today. Um, yeah, this was funny as one as well. Just comment. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I hope that you all have thoroughly enjoyed this video. Let's see if Bitcoin can show some strength and regain 9.6. If it can, I would be looking down towards lower levels, uh, waiting for that close. The four hour closes in, oh, another three hours, 14. Well, that, that, that's not too, a long time to go for this close. So you're looking at another three hours, 17 minutes for this four hour close. I would like to see whether it closed with a lower wick or below the 7.86, to be honest. Uh, hourly, uh, another 17 minutes left here. So this is, Keep your eyes in the next 17 minutes um, of where this closes. It's going to be really, really, really crucial to how it plays out over the next you know, week or so. So, um, yeah, hope that you have thoroughly enjoyed this video. Thank you, everybody, so much. And I will catch you in the next update. Thank you, everybody. Cheers. Goodbye. Cheers.